Going is us like going is God. Yeah, yeah. Nine and seven coming into the playoff. We shouldn't be there technically. Right. In right. that book. We shouldn't be there. But in our eyes, man, man, we got the most talent in this league. Yes. So man, y'all put us on the field with anybody, it gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. Plus we got the number two defense. And we got the best quarterback behind center. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You know, let's see what happens. So, um, we get into this game and we get to a fast start. We get to a fast start, man. We get up 14 0 before you know it. Mm -hmm. My guy, Nick Collins, who's on that wall up there. Yeah. My guy, Nick Collins. Um, that's actually the touchdown. Touchdown. Go up 14-0 in the Super Bowl right here. Go up 14-0. Picked off Big Ben. Took it back for a pick six. Yeah. Um, I was covering a guy who was throwing to. I was covering Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace ran a double move. Um, Big Ben was trying to throw it. it had pressure in his face. Mm -hmm. um, threw it up in the air. Nick out the middle of the field. Get the ball. Pick six. 14-0. I think they come back down. They get a field goal. 14-3. We come back to score again. 21. Now nah, it could be easily the right. same, man. We finna kill these mm -hmm. boys. But we know Pittsburgh pedigree. Mm -hmm. We know their pedigree. We like, man, we gotta stay on it because these dudes gonna keep coming. These right. dudes gonna keep coming. And they did. Mm -hmm. you know, they did. Um they, they made a run before halftime, I think. Uh Heinz Ward scored. Um, good play by him and Big Ben. It was a scramble play, uh, but they scored, and then we go into halftime at 21 to 10. But in the meantime, though, we lose, we lose some players. You know, we, look, we lose Donna Driver throughout that uh, game. We lose Charles Woodson mm -hmm. throughout that game. We lose Sam Shields. You know, these the guys who I'm playing next to. Right. Like this the whole secondary. Yeah. Pretty much, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. This the guys who I'm playing next to. Um, and they're they're big time players. They're all pro players. Mm -hmm. And um they gone out the game, so now we gotta bring in um, you know, your your fourth and your fifth corner, which was Jared Bush, Patrick Lee at the time. Mm -hmm. Those guys come in, those guys hold their own. Right. Came in, Jerry came in, got an interception for us. Yeah. Got an interception for us. Um, took some points off the board for them. And um, I think we might have scored, maybe got a field goal out the deal mm -hmm. from that. So he came in, he got it a pick for, for us. Um, and I can remember, man, like, I was in a, truthfully, I was in a zone that season to where it, it really didn't matter who I was covering. Whoever you want to bring over here, man, bring over here, man, because, man, I'm just in my bag right mm -hmm. now. There's nothing nobody can do right now that I ain't confident about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's that's just where I was at that point in that season. And then mm -hmm. we in the Super Bowl. So like I said, man, I had all of those receivers who I had to cover. I mean, I had Mike Wallace, uh, A.B., yeah. you know, A.B., <laughs> Uh, Manuel Sanders, like had all of those guys, man. Bruce Arian was the, I think, the old coordinator. Okay. Well, I played for Bruce. I played for Bruce in Arizona. Bruce just won the Super Bowl with Tim. Okay. So Bruce, which, good job, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> good job. But um, Bruce has has a, has an excellent offense. Um, you know, just my time with him, um, I know that you know he knows his stuff offensively. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he got you know a good quarterback behind center for him right now. Um, old time, old time Brady. So, but nonetheless, man, this game got tight in the second half. This game right here got tight in the second half. Um, like I said, we had our, our fourth and fifth corner out there, and they held their own, man, as mm -hmm. much as possible. Um, those guys came out, they started running the ball on us a little bit, and we had to make a play. Like we had to make a play to stop their momentum because they was coming and. I think Clay, Clay and Ryan Pickett uh, hit Mendenhall in the backfield, fumbled the ball, got the ball, 
and that was the momentum shift. Right. Stop their momentum. We grabbed the momentum back, um, and um, we scored. So now, still a close game. Right, right, right. Still a close game, but we up. Mm -hmm. Kick it back off to them. Um, they got to score a touchdown. Right. Now, this is the thing that you think about. All the stuff that they were talking about mm -hmm. when you're watching the TV. Big Ben's been there before. All of this stuff come, comes back around now. Right. This is what they were speaking of when they were saying that. Big Ben comes back around. He has. Mm -hmm. That's what he did before. He's won a Super Bowl like that before. Right. Big Ben has made a living of four quarters. When it came down to it, we felt like that we will make the plays. Um, but we knew this was going to be a dog fight too. Um, if you know the history behind Pittsburgh, um, like you said, man, they got fans all over too. <laughs> Yes. You know, a lot of Steelers fans. Yeah, if you know the history behind this organization, man, um, their organization has been built to win championships mm -hmm. also. You mm -hmm. know, so we knew that. You know, we knew that it, it was going to be uh, a tough game. Right. I mean, I go back through their roster too, man. They were stacked too. Mm -hmm. It was stacked, man. I go back, you know, to their offense. And, I mean, obviously you got Big Ben behind center, but... Right. This specific year, they had just drafted Antonio Brown and Emmanuel Sanders. Mm -hmm. So you know, you got these two guys. Um, Mike Wallace was the guy at the time. Heinz Ward was still there. Uh -huh. They still had Antoine Randallel. He was still putting in work. And then you had Heat Miller at tight end. Okay. So you had all of these guys. Rashad Mendenhall at running back. He was. He was doing his thing for him. Right. And um, and then you got the defense. Mm -hmm. That's what Pittsburgh is known for. Right, right. The defense. So now you got the Green Bay Packers coming in. You got the Green Bay Packers coming in. We the youngest team in the league. Mm -hmm. um, we're nine and seven coming into the playoff. We shouldn't be there technically. Right. In right. that book. We shouldn't be there. But in our eyes, man. Man, we got the most talent in this league. Yes. So, man, y'all put us on the field with anybody, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Plus, we got the number two defense, and we got the best quarterback behind the center. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You know, let's see what happens. So, um, we get into this game, and we get to a fast start. We get to a fast start, man. We get up. 14-0 before you know it. Mm -hmm. My guy Nick Collins, who's on that wall up there. My guy Nick Collins. Um, that's actually the touchdown. Touchdown. 14-0 in the Super Bowl right here. Go up 14-0. Picked off Big Ben. Took it back for a pick six. Yeah. Um, I was covering the guy who was throwing tough. I was covering Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace ran a double move. Um, Big Ben was trying to throw it. He had pressure in his face. Mm -hmm. um, threw it up in the air. Nick got the middle field. Get the ball. Pick six. 14-0. I think they come back down. They get a field goal. 14-3. We come back and score again. 21. Now, it could be easily the right. same, man. We finna kill these boys. Mm -hmm. But... We know Pittsburgh pedigree. Mm -hmm. We know their pedigree. We're like, man, we got to stay on it because these dudes going to keep coming. These right. dudes going to keep coming. And they did. Mm -hmm. They did. Um, they, they made a run before halftime, I think. Uh, Heinz Ward scored. Um, good play by him in Big Ben. It was a scramble play. Um, but they scored, and then we go into halftime at 21-10. But in the meantime, though, we lose... We lose some players. We lose Donald Driver throughout that uh, game. We lose Charles Woodson mm -hmm. throughout that game. We lose Sam Shields. Um, you know, these are the guys who I'm playing next to. Right. Like, this is the whole secondary, yeah. pretty much. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the guys who I'm playing next to. Um, and they're they're big time players. They're all pro players. Mm -hmm. 
and um, they gone out the game. So now we got to bring in, um, you know, your, your, your fourth and fifth corner, which was Jared Bush, Patrick Lee at the time. Those guys come in, those guys hold their own. Right. Came in, Jared came in, got an interception for us. Yeah. Got an interception for us. Um, took some points off the board for them. And um, I think we might have scored, maybe got a field goal out the deal mm -hmm. from that. So he came in, he got it a pick for, for us. Um, and I can remember, man, I was in the, truthfully, I was in the zone that season to where it, it really didn't matter who I was covering. Whoever you want to bring over here, man, bring over here, man, because, man, I'm just in my bag right mm -hmm. now. There's nothing nobody can do right now that I ain't confident about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's that's just where I was at that point in that season. And then mm -hmm. we in the Super Bowl. So like I said, man, I had all of those receivers who I had to cover. I mean, I had Mike Wallace, uh, A.B., yeah. you know, A.B., uh, Manuel Sanders, like, had all of those guys, man. Bruce Arian was, the, I think, the old coordinator. Okay. Well, I played for Bruce. I played for Bruce in Arizona. Bruce just won a Super Bowl with Tampa. Okay. So, Bruce, which, good job, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> good job. But um, Bruce has, has, has an excellent offense. Um, you know, just my time with him, um, I know that, you know, he knows his stuff offensively. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you got you know a good quarterback behind center for him right now. Um, old Tom, old Tom Brady. So, but nonetheless, man, this game got tight in the second half. This game right here got tight in the second half. Um, like I said, we had our, our fourth and fifth corner out there, and they held their own, man, as mm -hmm. much as possible. Um, those guys came out, they started running the ball on us a little bit, and we had to make a play, and we had to make a play to stop their momentum because they was coming and. Um, I think Clay, Clay and Ryan Pickett uh, hit Mendenhall in the backfield, fumbled the ball, got the ball, and that was the momentum shift. Right. Stopped their momentum, we grabbed the momentum back, um, and um, we scored. So now, still a close game. Right, right, right. Still a close game, but we up. Mm -hmm. Kick it back off to them. Um, they got to score a touchdown. Right. Now, this is the thing that you think about. All the stuff that they were talking about mm -hmm. when you're watching the TV. Big Ben's been there before. All of this stuff come, comes back around. Right. This is what they were speaking of when they were saying that Big Ben comes back around. He have. Mm -hmm. That's what he did before. He's won a Super Bowl like that before. Right. Big Ben has made a living of four quarter comebacks mm -hmm. of that nature. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we don't care about none of that. Right. You know, because we got an organization that's built on championships too. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got an organization that's built on winning championships too. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. So nonetheless, I'm, I'm, I, I kind of was really insulted a little bit right. me because Wood is down, Sam is down, mm -hmm. and I'm technically the only starting cornerback cor out there, mm. and you decide to throw it my way. <laughs> Why would you do that? When you decide to throw it my way when the game is on the line. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you did. Right, right, right. You know, I'm glad you did, but, I mean, if you did the numbers, you would say, man, we got other guys who we could attack. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who we might have been able to take advantage of right. more than him. You know what I'm saying? But I do get it, though, because mm -hmm. Big Ben at that time was going to his best receiver. Right. I was on Mike. I had to start following Mike once. Wood and Sam went down. Yeah. You know, before then, man, we, we was confident in the guys that we had out there. Sam can play against anybody. Wood mm -hmm. can play against anybody. I can play against anybody. So we just played our respective sides. But 
this specific time, once those guys went down, then you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to help the team. Correct. Right? I go to the best receiver. Wherever he go, I go. You won't see me. Wherever you go, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. So nonetheless, I'm on mic. It's four to six. Well, let's go through the first first down. They throw a, uh, they get a penalty. So now they start off maybe first and 20. Okay. Get, they, they throw a nice pass. I think they get maybe like um, 12 yards tight end. And they throw another pass. My direction, incomplete, obviously. Um, third down, I think they throw another pass. Um, and it's incomplete. Mm -hmm. So now it's four to six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four to six. I think it's a minute and something left. Maybe a minute and 40 some seconds left. Um, they have to get the first down, obviously. No, for sure. But to get, keep the game going. Um, and like I said, I'm on Mike Wallace. I'm on your best receiver. So most of the time, quarterback will go to his best guy. Right. On uh, in clutch time. So I know that. As you should. Yeah, you I know it. that. Um, I'm pretty sure Mike was expecting the ball, but I mean, I put in my film study and my time for specific situations like this. Mm -hmm. Fourth and six, in clutch time, what plays are they running? What are they trying to do? Are they trying to get the first down? Are they trying to um, take a shot? What are they trying to do? In my head, from what I studied, I said, man, they trying to get the first down trying to get the first down, um, they're going to run a sticks route. Right. Sticks routes is pretty much, that's the first down sticks right there. That's where the first down, I yeah. got to anticipate that. I can't let right. get that. Right. So, he run a sticks route. He run a sticks route. I'm driving that route. And I'm going for the inception. Big Ben actually throw a pretty solid ball because he throws it high mm -hmm. and outside. Okay. So I'm trying, I'm come, trying to come underneath because the position that he yes. throws the ball at. Mm -hmm. so I come in, I get a hand in, and I get just enough on the ball to knock it out of his hand. Just enough on the ball to yes. knock it out of his hand, four to six. Game is over. Ball hit the ground, game is over. What was that feeling like? If you go back to all of my games, I'm not, I'm not big on emotion. I know. I'm not big on emotion at all. Um, but that specific play right there, I showed emotion. I think all the emotion came out. Like I, ain't, if I make a play, it's like, all right, next play. Let's get to the next one. I heck, got more plays. To I make. got more plays to make. But heck, if you think about the situation. Hey, I ain't no more plays to make, shoot. This is it. Like, this is what we work hard for. This is what we work hard for. So, um, once that ball hit the ground, man, like, man, emotions just, just start coming out, you know, um, and just start celebrating with my teammates, man. Obviously, the offense had to come back in and kneel the ball, and you always hope that, you know, don't nothing fluky happen, you know what I'm saying? Fumble the ball, and I'm like, nah, this, this can't happen. Mm -hmm. This our year, so. Nonetheless, man, uh, celebrated with my teammates, man. Yeah. And we was world champions, man. It's the ultimate goal for every team when they come into the season. Exactly. Yo, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, we got a, a nice amount of accomplishments up here. So 